Hi, I'm Benjamin. I'd like to share with you my process for adding augmented reality to my illustrations using the Archivive app. So here's my Tweety Cat illustration. I'm going to animate it in a 2D cutout style, so I will have to create separate layers for each moving part. I'm going to use Affinity Photo to create these layers. But you can use any free photo editing and illustration software like GIMP or Krita. So I've separated the layers already. The action lines have been separated. Wings. As you can see, once I've cut out, the area on the body was filled in with a clone tool. The four legs. I made separate layers for the tail, but I will move them together as one. And then I created a blink for the eyes. The clouds have all been separated and a single background. Once all the layers have been created, I export it as a PSD file. This will be imported into my animation software. I'll be using Moho Pro for my 2D animation. So once I've imported the PSD file and put in place, I'm ready to add the bones to the character. Okay, so the bones are all set in place. Let's test the character and we can see that all the bits and pieces are moving and get started with the animation. Okay, jumping ahead to the final animation. RT5 allows me three different animations or videos per project. So I created two more separate animations with the clouds. The animation is now complete. I've exported it as an MP4. I then opened it up in Handbrake to reduce the size of the animation but without losing the quality, ready for import into Artivive. You will first need to register with Artivive to use the Artivive app. Go to the Artivive website, artivive.com, and then register for a free account. So I've registered as an artist, clicked on register for free, fill in your details and submit your registration. Once your account is created, log in. This will take you to the bridge section of Artivive. Right, I've logged into my account. As you can see, here's a folder I created for my illustrations, but let's create a new project. I'll add the title in the space provided and then I'll click Add Artwork. This is the basic section of your project. On the left you add your image and on the right you'll add your video or animation. I'm going to create the project in the 3D Pro section as it gives me more advanced options. So here you're going to drop your recognition image and here I'm going to place my first animation. Right, my JPEG image is in place. Let's add my animation video. I'll leave the position at zero so that it's against the image. I will have to scale the video. Don't use points in the scale section, use commas. So I'm going to add in 1,6. Let's preview the animation by pressing the play button. Left click and drag to move around the image. In the Pro section, you are allowed three videos and six images. I'm going to click Add Video to add my second video. I'm going to scale it to two. You can see that the background is blue. I'm going to click on the Transparency button, which will bring up the Chroma Key settings. It's basically your green screen settings, but my preference is blue. The eyedropper, once you've clicked it, you can select your color background. You'll notice green, red and blue arrows in front of the layer. You can use these arrows to drag the layer back and forth, up and down and side to side. I'm going to add my third video, scale it to 3, click on the transparency for the chroma key and select the color and I'm going to use the arrows to drag it in place. Let's test the animation. Remember to add the artwork information. Click on the artwork info button on the top. Add your name, the artwork name and the description and click done. 
Once you are happy with the final look of your project, click Save. Once your artwork is processed, you will see five stars which will show the recognition speed. Five out of five is very good. You can preview your project on the play button below the image. Okay, let's test it on the Artivive app. This image hasn't been printed yet, so I'll test it on my monitor. I hope this was helpful to create your first augmented reality artwork with Artivive. You can download the Artivive app for free for Android and iPhone at your Play Store. Visit artivive.com to get more information on getting started with Artivive. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about our videos.